If you want to take a vacation, take it before that date. At this very instant, something remarkable is unfolding behind our star. The interstellar object Atlas, merely the third visitor ever identified from beyond our solar system, is currently in solar conjunction, completely concealed from all our telescopes. Five days ago, on October 21st, it positioned itself precisely on the opposite side of our star relative to Earth, rendering it invisible to our entire observational network. In exactly three days on October 29th, it will reach perihelion, the nearest point to our star along its path. At that moment, 33 gigawatts of solar radiation will strike its surface. To contextualize, this is one-third of the combined energy output of all nuclear reactors in the United States, concentrated on a single object located 135 astronomical units from our star. This marks the most energetic point in its million-year journey through interstellar space. What makes this truly fascinating is that if any unusual physical process occurs, whether massive ice sublimation, activation of complex chemical reactions, or something even more extraordinary. It will happen precisely now when we cannot observe. The timing prompts profound questions. Why is this particular object with all its already documented anomalies passing through the point of maximum solar energy during the soul window when observation is impossible? Is this a statistical coincidence or is there something more fundamental at play? Avi Loeb, Harvard professor and former chair of the astronomy department, issued a warning that resonates ever louder. If you plan to take a vacation, do so before October 29th because no one can predict the outcome. These warnings are no longer speculative. They pertain to the next three days and the processes that may be occurring at this exact moment. Atlas is systematically defying established patterns for interstellar objects. Since its discovery, it has accumulated a series of characteristics that individually might be explained Explained, but collectively create an unprecedented scientific enigma. The first anomaly is an impossible orbital alignment. Atlas's trajectory is inclined just five degrees from the ecliptic plane, the disk in which all planets orbit for an interstellar object. The chance of this occurring randomly is only 0.2%. Yet this is not merely a statistical curiosity. It is an optimal trajectory if one intended to visit multiple planets with minimal energy expenditure, designing a mission to pass by Mars, Venus, Earth, and Jupiter in a single transit through the solar system. This would be the exact path the ecliptic alignment maximizes maximizes flyby opportunities while minimizing necessary course adjustments. The second anomaly is unprecedented chemistry. Spectroscopic measurements from the KEK-2 telescope revealed that Atlas emits nickel in proportions never before observed in natural comets. On Earth, this specific signature only appears in controlled industrial contexts, particularly in alloy production via the carbonyl process. The nickel is concentrated in a 600-kilometer region of the nucleus, while cyanide, another detected compound, extends over 840 kilometers. If both substances were naturally sublimating from ice, they would follow similar patterns based on volatility and solar heating. They do not. The nickel behaves as if part of an organized structure, not as random sublimation from a dirty snowball. The third anomaly is revolutionary composition. Atlas contains merely 4% water by mass, which is extraordinary. Comets are fundamentally dirty ice. Water should dominate their makeup. Borosov, the previous interstellar comet universally regarded as natural, had a typical aqueous composition. Why is Atlas fundamentally different? Adding intrigue, the polarization of light reflected from Atlas is highly negative, a phenomenon never recorded in known comets, including Borosov. This suggests unique surface or structural properties. The fourth anomaly is extraordinary mass and scale. Atlas is estimated at 33 billion tons, a thousand times heavier than Borosov and a million times larger than Oumuamua. With a minimum diameter of five kilometers, it possesses enough mass to carry significant payload loads across interstellar distances. To contextualize, this mass could transport thousands of car-sized probes or hundreds of larger structures while maintaining maneuverability with the energy available at perihelion. 
The fifth anomaly is the mysterious anti-tail. Between July and August, Atlas developed material ejected toward our star. Contrary to normal cometary behavior, analysis confirmed this was not a prospective illusion. Matter was genuinely expelled against solar radiation pressure, implying active internal energetic processes. Loeb created an evaluation scale from 0 to 10 for potentially artificial interstellar objects. Atlas scores 4, not definitive, but sufficient to warrant serious scrutiny using planetary defense resources. The response from scientific and defense communities has been extraordinary and, in some aspects, alarming. For the first time in history, protocols normally reserved for extinction-level threats were activated for an object that cannot impact Earth directly. The Planetary Defense Network and the International Asteroid Warning Network, designed to detect and track civilization-threatening objects, initiated an intensive three-month monitoring campaign for Atlas. This is unprecedented. IAWN does not allocate resources to objects merely interesting scientifically. Its mandate is to prevent extinction events. The campaign began on October 27th, two days before perihelion, and continues until January 2026. The decision relied on pre-perihelion data, indicating the documented anomalies were enough to consider Atlas a potential threat. Yet here lies the paradox. Atlas is not on a collision course. Its closest approach will be 1.8 astronomical units beyond Mars, making physical impact impossible. So why activate planetary defense protocols? NASA has maintained an unusual silence. The highest resolution images of Atlas were captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on October 3rd, when the object was 190 million kilometers from Mars. The high-rise camera offers 30 kilometers per pixel resolution at that distance, three times finer than Hubble's best images. These photographs remain unreleased. Avi Loeb has repeatedly requested access through blogs and direct emails to NASA. The lack of response is conspicuous, particularly given these are the most detailed images ever obtained. In contrast, the European Space Agency has been comparatively transparent. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter imaged Atlas and released data showing a classic cometary appearance, a diffuse point with a small tail. This seems reassuring until one examines spectroscopic analyses of the same data, which reveal anomalous chemistry. Physics allows several explanations for Atlas's behavior, each with profound implications for our understanding of interstellar objects and cosmic processes. Scenario 1, Exotic Natural Comet. Atlas may be a comet with unusual composition formed under radically different conditions from our solar system. Other stellar systems have distinct metallicities, formation temperatures, and chemical processes absent here. The nickel emissions could arise from natural carbonyl reactions in the nucleus with spontaneous chemical processes triggered by specific temperature and pressure conditions. The low water content suggests formation in a volatile poor region, perhaps near a young, hot star. Star. This scenario explains the chemical anomalies but struggles to account for the orbital alignment and perfect timing. Coincidences occur, but multiple simultaneous coincidences strain statistical credibility. Scenario 2 Controlled Fragmentation Atlas may be disintegrating in a highly organized manner, releasing internal components with unique physical and chemical properties. This could explain the anomalous emissions and compositional variations observed. Fragmentation might be triggered by increasing solar heating as it nears perihelion, causing internal structures preserved for millions of years in interstellar cold to sublimate or react chemically. Scenario 3 – Active Orbital Maneuver if some process alters Atlas's velocity during perihelion, measurable orbital changes would be observable in subsequent weeks. A deceleration of just a few kilometers per second would suffice to retain the object permanently in the solar system. Perihelion provides an optimal energetic window for such maneuvers. It is the moment of maximum orbital velocity when any applied impulse is amplified by orbital mechanics known as the Oberth effect exploited by all interplanetary missions. Scenario 4, ejection of smaller components. Atlas could release fragments during peak perihelion heating. With its estimated mass of 33 billion tons, it could eject thousands of smaller objects while preserving structural integrity. The astronomical community remains deeply divided regarding Atlas, reflecting tensions about how science addresses anomalies and uncertainties. Jason Wright, an astronomer at Penn State, published a severe critique of Loeb's work in a blog post titled simply Avi and Atlas. Wright 
systematically dismantles each proposed anomaly, questioning the absence of a visible coma. He asserts that Loeb misinterpreted telescope tracking. Tracking a moving comet keeps the nucleus sharp while the background blurs, obscuring diffuse coma in this imaging mode. Concerning size, Wright argues that Loeb assumed 5% reflectivity to maximize size estimates. If Atlas is a comet, the nucleus would be smaller, enveloped by bright coma, not the massive structure Loeb calculated. Loeb counters that critics are so wedded to conventional explanations that they reflexively dismiss anomalous evidence. He argues that science suffers from conservatism, paradigm shifts face resistance, and outsider ideas are too quickly ignored. Wright accuses Loeb of bypassing peer review, publishing directly in blogs and interviews before formal submission. Loeb responds that the peer review process is too slow for transient phenomena. Atlas will not wait months for editorial deliberations. Betting markets currently assign 75% odds for a natural comet and 25% for artificial origin. These are not scientific probabilities but aggregated human judgments. Reflecting the absence of consensus, deep uncertainty is unfolding in real time. The coming months present three opportunities to clarify the Atlas mystery. November 4th, JUICE flyby. The European Space Agency's JUICE probe will perform the first post-perihelion observation at 64 million kilometers from Atlas. This will reveal changes after exposure to 33 gigawatts of solar radiation. Any perihelion maneuver will manifest as measurable velocity changes of mere meters per second. December 19th, maximum Earth approach. Atlas will be 1.8 astronomical units from Earth. All major ground-based observatories will focus on the object, while the James Webb Space Telescope will detect thermal signatures and molecular composition at unprecedented resolution. March 16th, 2025, Jupiter encounter. Atlas will pass 54 million kilometers from Jupiter, with NASA's Juno probe observing directly fragments released during perihelion may reach Jupiter's vicinity. Each observation builds upon the last. If Atlas behaves purely according to celestial mechanics, interstellar comets diversity will be confirmed. Deviations would indicate a new phenomenon outside prior categorization. In three days, perihelion occurs. In three weeks, the first post-blackout data will arrive. The central question is simple. Will Atlas's trajectory change? Following gravitational laws would confirm the diverse properties of interstellar comets, revealing formation processes in other systems and unique chemical environments. Deviations, non-gravitational accelerations, or emergence of multiple components would indicate a novel phenomenon, not necessarily artificial, but beyond previous experience. Science's beauty lies in nature having the final say. Atlas will provide this test in a manner few discoveries can. The observational blackout ends in November. Telescopes worldwide will reacquire the object, revealing whether we observe exotic chemistry from another system or something entirely anomalous. Regardless, Atlas has already expanded our perspective perspective, forcing us to question assumptions and confront ignorance about the vast cosmos. In three days, potentially universe-redefining processes will occur behind our star, invisible and undetectable. In three weeks, the results will begin to emerge.